video, what we did is created a data lake folder and mounted the data lake folder on the Databricks. How did we do that? Is we created an application and that application needs to be created in Microsoft Azure Active Directory create apps. And using that application, we generated a key. So this is your application client ID and this is your key. Next, we created a folder in ISP Data Lake Store and we created as Mount Databricks, the name of the folder. And using the directory ID, which we can get from Microsoft Azure Active Directory properties, we copied this here, ran a mount point. So mount data lake, mnt slash mount data lake is the soft link, which is going to go against the ISP Azure data lake in mount Databricks. So if in the code, in Python, in Databricks, I'm going to use mnt mount data lake here, and automatically it's going to connect to mount Databricks. Let me show you. So going back to our use case, wherein we are getting the data from the SQL server, and we are going to populate the data into the Microsoft Azure Data Lake. Let's go do it. Create a new notebook here. I'm going to say SQL to Data Lake. And then we are going to use the same connection command which we did for writing the data into SQL Server. So I'm going to copy this. Remember the CSV to Python? I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to copy the entire thing. But I'm not going to write the file. So let me just copy everything here. So this is the So this is the command which we used to copy the CSV to SQL. I'm going to keep everything same, but I'm going to remove this because I do not want it. Also, I'm not going to keep this. So I'm just keeping the, the context here, which is your SQL server database format. So this is how we did. This is your library pyspark.sql import pandas.spd and then we have uh, the mount databricks host name this is your sql server uh, i don't want to say mount databricks that's my folder name so jdbc host name jdbc port number database remains the same password is this so this is what we have done already earlier now I'm going to read from the SQL Server. So let's see how to read from the SQL Server. So write down a query, which is very simple. Select star from dbo.sales as sales and then run the cell. So let's see the query. So this is the push down query. Select star from dbo.sales as sales. And uh, so I have created a query which can go against the database and get the data. So now the query is ready. I need to run it. So I'm going to say df2, which is the data frame 2, spark.read. Remember the last time was spark.write, the spark.jdbc. So here it is spark.read.jdbc. The URL, which is this URL, the table is the push down query and the properties, which is your user ID and password. So I'm going to write it, read it from the database. So let's run the cell. So the cell is run and we have 20 or more fields being read in DF2. All we have to do is now write it back to a data lake. So I'm going to say the data frame. So this, so this is going to read from the SQL database and this is going to be writing it to the SQL database. So we have to change it here, this folder. I'm going to say uh, mount data lake. So 
remember that this is the soft link which we created in the last video and I'm specifying the name of the file. So again, this data frame which is going to read the output data from the SQL server and I'm going to use two pandas dot two CSV, write it on this one. Please note that this is MNT, which is a soft link on the data bricks connecting to the data lake. Header equal to 2, encoding equal to UTF-8. I'm going to run the cell. And after I run the cell, the job will populate the data onto the data bricks. So let's go to the data bricks and validate the data. So I'm going to go here, mount data bricks. I have to refresh it. You can see that sales.csv file is now available on the data lake. Again, I'm going to upload all the Python notebooks which I have created onto the Google Drive link, and the link is mentioned in the video description section. Thank you.